evening. Good evening. My name is Michelle Chow. Tonight we're going to be talking about selecting a laptop replacement for our mobile sales team. Um, our current problem is outdated equipment, which reduces productivity and is not very efficient. So therefore we've been given a budget of $14,000 to replace 10 laptops. <coughs> Um, some of the solutions and alternatives we came up with did not make the cut. We narrowed down our alternatives to these two specific models, the Apple MacBook Pro 13-inch and the Dell Studio XPS 13-inch. Um, the criteria that we came up with in evaluating these two um, models were battery life, weight, hard drive capacity, CPU speed, connectivity, and overall price point. Battery life is essential in um, mobile sales, so that is very important when we looked at these two models. The MacBook Pro was at an outrageous seven hours, whereas the Studio XPS was only four hours. However, the Studio XPS did have the optional 12 cell battery for extended life, and the MacBook Pro did not. <coughs> Overall weight of the two laptops was under five pounds, so nothing overall was very determining in choosing our laptops. However, the MacBook Pro did look better at a four and a half pound weight compared to 4.93 pounds. Their dimensions are overall the same, around 13 inches by nine inches by one inch. <coughs> Moving on to hard drive capacity, the MacBook Pro had a standard 250 gigabyte, which was, we thought, kind of small compared to the Studio XPS at 320, which was standard. So hard drive capacity is very important when um, storing a lot of files and information, especially when you're being mobile. They both did have the option of solid state drive, which is basically a better version of a hard drive with no moving parts to make it more rugged. The next criteria we evaluated was CPU speed. The MacBook Pro, uh, and the Studio XPS both had Intel Core 2 Duo chips, but however, the Studio XPS was a slight bit faster. Um, the Studio XPS also had double the memory and double the available upgradable memory. Connectivity, which is also very important for our mobile sales team in order to keep um, touch with our home base, we found that both models had the same exact connectivity options. Both had uh, built-in Wi-Fi, 802.11n. Both had Bluetooth and both had webcams. Both had 1.3 megapixels. However, our most determining factor when viewing these two laptops was price point, overall price point. Uh, the MacBook Pro, which starts at $1,199, was a little bit out of our range. However, the Studio XPS, which started at $100 cheaper at $1,099, really caught our eye. So we decided that the Studio XPS had more value for its money. Over here we have a table comparing the two side by side to get a better overall picture of which one would better suit our needs. We determined that we needed a laptop that could be able to uh, function on battery life for up to four hours, so both met our requirement. However, the Apple MacBook Pro did exceed our requirements, which we were satisfied with. Overall weight was not an issue, however, we did ideally want it to be under five pounds, so both of them did meet that requirement. Hard drive capacity, we were hoping for at least 250 gigabytes, which we found with both. However, the Dell Studio XPS 13 exceeded our expectations with 320 gigabytes. And they both had solid state drive, so there was no clear cut winner there. However, the CPU speed, the uh, Dell Studio XPS really took the lead at 2.4 gigahertz and four gigs of memory, which is twice as much as the Apple MacBook Pro. So in those two categories, the Dell Studio XPS was better for our needs. Both of them had the same connectivity options and However, we decided that the Dell Studio XPS was the overall winner because of its lower starting price point and more value for its money. We decided it also would better suit our needs because it did exceed our expectations 
and our requirements in choosing a new mobile laptop solution. So overall, uh, concluding this, we decided that the Dell Studio XPS is the choice for our mobile uh, solution. Therefore, we went with the Dell Studio XPS because it is um, under our budget. Thank you.